Evictions continue to rise in Maricopa County. New numbers released this week show January filings hit more than 5,200. That's up from 4,400 in December of last year. Yeah, there's hope, though, if you know where to go. ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes with legal programs designed to help renters in danger of eviction. In eviction actions, most landlords have attorneys, but most tenants don't. Now there are a couple of free programs for renters that advocates are hoping will help level the playing field. For cases that we represent tenants, we're seeing like a 90% success rate. That's if Community Legal Services decides there's legal merit to the case, but attorney Pam Bridge says even if there isn't. We have paralegals and attorneys who can give them advice, negotiate with the other side. All at no cost to you. The two programs funded by City of Phoenix and Maricopa County for people facing eviction. If you live in the City of Phoenix. It can be for any type of eviction. That includes non-payment or other alleged breaches of your lease, that there is an income limit of 250% of the poverty line, or about $55,000 a year for a family of three. This is a special program that allows us to reach more tenants. For legal help in Maricopa County, income does not matter. Bridge says the program it is for every single tenant who is facing an eviction for non-payment of rent. Which means if rent isn't the issue, it's not covered. Even with the restrictions, Bridge says these programs are making a difference. Not having an eviction judgment on their record, that's a success. Keeping somebody housed is a success for us. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona. Community Legal Services says one of the most important things you can do is contact them as soon as there's a problem. We've got information on how you can do just that at ABC15.com. If you're looking for